Hello. Welcome to Chemtorials. I'm going to show you how to use a Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is going to have a gas hose attached to it in order to have a supply of gas from a gas line. The gas line will have an open and close valve, and you'll also need some matches to use for your Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner consists of several parts. The base holds the entire Bunsen burner steady. The collar above is used for airflow, and the stopcock below is used for gas flow. The hose, as mentioned before, is used for gas flow. The collar can actually be loosened all the way. As you'll see here, it can come all the way off. And this is where the airflow will come through as the gas enters the Bunsen burner. On the underside, you'll see the stopcock, and on many Bunsen burners, the stopcock can be completely removed. On this model here, it's not able to be removed, but it opens and closes all the way. The stopcock is used for the amount of gas coming through the Bunsen burner through the hose. And I'll just go ahead and quickly reassemble the Bunsen burner here. Now, what I like to do before using a Bunsen burner is close both the collar and the stop clock all the way and loosening it just a bit. And if you'll notice the stop clock, it has a usual lefty, loosey, righty, tidy if you're looking at it from the underside. However, looking at it from the top side, if you turn the valve left, you are tightening it, and if you turn it to the right, you are loosening it. So left will be less gas flow, and to the right will be more gas flow. You also need to be sure to use your PPE when using a Bunsen burner. You'll need a lab coat, and be sure when you have your lab coat that the sleeves are not too loose or hanging too low and you'll need to be sure that you have your lab coat buttoned all the way up and that you also have your lab goggles if you are a person with long hair be sure to tie it back as well and one more thing that you'll need is a designated container for your spent matches in this case it is a aluminum coffee can. So now we are ready to begin. We have our Bunsen burner that we are going to slightly loosen both the collar and stopcock. And we are going to go ahead and attach the hose to our gas line. And before opening the gas valve, we need to be sure that our match is lit. So the first thing we're going to do is open our matchbox to, and then after that, we are going to open the valve. And be sure to extinguish your match and dump it into the spent matches. And after lighting the Bunsen burner, you can adjust the flame by opening the collar and the stopcock to make sure you have a small blue hot flame for any necessary hot heating procedures you may need. You can also use it to waft 
or if you need a less hot, more orange flame, you can close and use a little bit of less airflow. When you're all done, be sure to close the gas valve and unplug your hose. Thank you for watching.